on a bus in here for seconds out here with Dennis, the menace McCann. Dennis, uh, you're on the undercard of Lyndon Arthur Yard, part two. Lemon fight, points win. Just talk to me about that. Listen, I got, I got the job done tonight. Listen, I've had a very, very hard time in camp. Uh, lo losing my best mate, Sam brother. Losing my best mate now, John Boy Cash. I just want to dedicate this fight to him. I've had an extremely, extremely hard camp. I um, had, had to deal with family members going to four funerals every, every single week, having to train, having to spar through that. It's been a very, very, very hard time for me. And I also want to thank my team massively, Al Smith especially, uh, Paul Taylor, Eddie Lamb, all of them there get me through the camp. And um, this is my men, life, life chucks uh, us all for the surprises. I've lost my best mate, that, that, that we've been together our whole life together. My bestest mate in the whole world, and I hope I'm, I hope I'm really proud. You know, I'll be interviewed as a boxer, but I want to interview you as a human part of that. You've just talked about and obviously opened your heart to me in regards to that. But when you're in camp and this stuff's happening, how much does it affect you really? That like, Boxing is a very sore sport. It's just you. When you get into that ring, it's just you. So when you're training for a fight that you're going to be in just yourself with the opponent, how hard is it when all these things are going on around you? Listen, it's very, very hard. Uh, the training for me is, is, is always easy for me. When you have, but mentally, it's, listen, I, got, I had a dig in and I'm happy with my performance tonight. Got the job done, hurt every single round. My hand is very messed up. I messed up in the second round. My hand's fractured, I think. I've done, done a bit of a number on my hand here. But listen, this is what it is. Got a head clashed, ticked off the box. Never been cut before. Uh, I'm scared, scared shitless of needles. I got my first needle tonight in my eye. <laughs> It's all learning curves, do you know what I mean? I had to carry on eight rounds when we fractured the hand. Fractured knuckles, sorry, as I say. But it's all a learning curve. When we go again in 2022, every bantam and every, and every super bantam out there, I'm going to slap them around. I'm going to do them in. Whoever they put in front of me, whoever Frank Moore and MTK puts in front of me, I'm, I'm going to bash them up big time. The, the better opponent I fight, the better I fight. Simple as that. I suppose you're still at that embryonic stage, the, the early stages of your career where you're still learning and for you to get injuries and sort of, sort of get them stitches at, at, at this point of your career is probably something that you'd rather get it done and out of the way and then you, you can learn from experience. Um, how, can't, what, can't well, what, what did the doctor say then? How, how long are you looking at with the, with the fracture of the I have to go and get an x-ray, I have to get an x-ray. But then I also want to thank my nutritionist also as well, right behind you, Dr. Carl Evans. Come in, jump in, Carl. Dr. Carl Evans, the best nutritionist in, yeah, in Europe you. and in the world. <laughs> he's, the, he's the best, mate, he's the best. I just want to thank him very much as well, um, sticking through me through camp and get me ready, get me, get me in um, on weight and in great fashion. How, how, far, how far can you go? I think you can go all the way. I think a lot of people think that, really. He it's wouldn't work me unless it was a world champion, would, would you? Yeah, no, no. But is it, does he need to stay off the Harry Balls, though? Um, for the time being, for the time being, he can have yeah. as many as he likes. But um, yeah, in the new year, he's he's on a Harry Ball detox for sure. Yeah. When he was asleep last night, I banged a few Harry Balls. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Dennis, quick one for me. Uh, we're at the end of 2021. Ideally, at the end of 2022, where do you want to be in your career? Well, I have a few titles around my waist. I want, I want all them bantamweights or super bantamweights to keep me titles warm because I'm coming for all of them. I'm coming for all of them, baby. Dennis McCann, all is a pleasure to talk to yourself. Have a good time tonight and, you know, we'll see you next year. God bless. Thank you very much.